Good morning, one and all, and happy Friday. <clears throat> happy Rise of the Tomb Raider Friday today. Uh, uh, eager to be jumping back into this game. Uh, it's a lot longer than the last one. I think we're only about 60% of the way through this game. So we've, um, we've got quite a ways to go. But I'm still having fun. Hope you are too. We had quite a show last night. Thanks uh, to everybody for coming on out. Uh, we still didn't beat Stray. Everyone kept telling me this was a really short game, but here I am uh, uh, six hours into it and not done yet. I think we'll probably complete it next week. Next week for Sconch and Small Cranks. Got my uh, lore video done for the weekend. It's uploaded and processing right now. It'll be live on YouTube in time for Saturday morning. Probably live on Facebook later next week. <clears throat> uh, for some reason, Facebook is more difficult at uploading videos, especially longer videos like mine. 50% of the time, the upload just fails with no explanation. It's really weird. So, yeah, I'll try to get the uh, video up on Facebook sometime next week, but it will be live on YouTube on Saturday, tomorrow. Uh, good to see everybody on Facebook today. Roman, Eli, Chakote, Nathaniel, Josh. Josh Bunton says, <clears throat> Dang, Ox, going early today. Must have something happening later. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> pardon me. I, uh, I say that I go live between 9 and 10 in the morning, and it's, um, you know, 9.15 or 9.17 or so right now. But, yeah, I mean, lately I have been going live around 10. So, yeah, your instincts are correct. I do have plans later. And, of course, it's good to see everybody on YouTube today, all the regulars and the members and the Patreon subscribers. Julian Z, Alt, Grendel, Sarah, Automatic Beats, Barry LeCount, John DeGiam, Berardino, Fishkey, Alt, Grendel, Edoji, Rancid Hamster, Sarah, Carol, Ann... Edward, Jamie, Honey, Bunny, Noble One. So good to see each and every one of you. Figured I'd show off a new Fallout prop today. Got it earlier, and I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee in the most Fallout way possible. Cheers. Sarah says, Ox is a sleepy ox. Yes, I am uh, waking up. <clears throat> but I will be uh, alert and perky in a matter of moments, I'm sure. Now let's dive in and see exactly where we were. Josh Bunton on YouTube says, My only one complaint, I wish the face... Facebook stream could be put into a small window. Huh. Yeah, you'd think that they would have that option on Facebook. <clears throat> Bala says, uh, hi, hi, hi. How are you doing today, bro? I'm doing very well, Bala. Good to see you on Facebook today. Humanoid Zeno says, uh, the, uh, the Xenomorph is on the prowl once again. Oh, he's back, everybody. He's role-playing as a Xenomorph in the chat. But not for food, <clears throat> but for entertainment again. Though the Ox has become accustomed to the Xenomorph, as the Xenomorph comes, it can only hope for a friend. Well, uh, Humanoid Zeno, you are, of course, welcome, and it's good to have you back on the program. You have come to a friendly place. We're all friends here. All right, let's continue.
I don't remember logging out in a temple. Why am I here? There we go. Sorry about that. I uh, turned down the volume on the wrong one. I was saying I don't remember logging out in a temple. Humanoid Xeno with a super chat says, Yay! <clears throat> New friend group. Absolutely. Now this community keeps on coming to these live streams and watching my videos. And they treat each other so well. We had some uh, complimentary memberships donated in the broadcast last night. Several of them, actually. So this community is very kind. <clears throat> Bala says, I'm your biggest fan from India. Well, thank you very much, Bala. Okay, yeah, I don't... Ooh, trap. Didn't that happen to me last... Okay, now I remember this. I solved it. <clears throat> I solved this, though, didn't I? Yeah, everything is sunken. Okay. All right, I'm starting to remember now. Looks like I had just completed a temple at the end of my last broadcast. And there's a trap there that I didn't notice before. Okay, so I think part of what we are doing is going back through the geothermal valley and tackling many of the things <clears throat> that we couldn't tackle when we came here last time because we didn't have a rebreather. That's right. The path uh, towards the quest de destination is up there. Like, we had to go past this and through that gate. Now, all right, so we did the, we cleared the temple. Looks like there's a document up there. I don't remember that. I do remember that now, yeah. A document up there and still no idea how to get to it. Now, I remember there was something by the waterfall as well. We completed the tomb. Let's go to the waterfall and see if there's anything there. Found something. Julian Z says, Hi Ox, uh, so good to see you on this Tomb Friday. I hope you're well. I'm glad you're still enjoying this game. Thanks, Julian. I feel like this game doesn't quite have the same spark that the last game did. Maybe it's just because um, 
I'm getting lost in each level for longer periods of time. And also maybe because the last game had a team of characters that we could interact with. But this game really only has one. The Jacob guy that we meet from time to time. Every now and then we see his daughter and then we see the, the tribes people and that's really about it. So I, I am still enjoying it, but it's, it's got a very different vibe. That's it. Alright, I need more stone. Okay, um... Huh, so that's it. Uh, let's uh, climb the waterfall. There might be something else there. I'm surprised that's it for this area behind the waterfall. Relito says below and behind as well. Okay. Well, we've gone below. Let's see if we can go behind. There was that climbing wall, so... Is there anything over here? Alright, so there's a document over there. We don't see a way to get there. I'm betting it has something to do with being on the other side of the wall. We never did figure this out either. Like that's too far to jump. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, which means we can get that because we've got the grappling hook now. Oh my God. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Um, up there. Turner, I'm sorry. I'll be there soon. I'm not going anywhere. See you soon, little bird. <laughs> oh, come on. I got that. Humanoid Zeno says, I would have gotten 100% on this game if not for missing a single item in a non-returnable part of the game. And it still kind of irks me to this day, but I don't want to uh, go through all the countless hours just to get a perfect score. Yeah, I hate uh, stuff like that. That would irk me too. Okay, yeah, we've got this grappling hook now.
Alia is with child. My daughter. I cannot put into words the tempest in my skull. I know I have made a grave mistake. My people will accept it without an ill look, but they too will see the error of my judgment. It seems so cold to call this year of happiness with Alia an error. But with every glorious moment, I knew that we sowed the seeds of tragedy. I cannot be a husband or a father, and still be who I must be for my people. Someday I will have to make a decision that pits my duty against the love of my family. I do not know how I will bend on that day. God help me. I'm a fool. Well, I think that moment will come pretty soon. And it'll have something to do with Lara Croft. Okay, if I recall, there was, um... Another path that didn't require jumping. Up and around. But will we be able to get to the path behind the waterfall that way? I mean, we can always jump down. we came up when we came out from the other side oh my god I need to go behind the other waterfall anyway. Humanoid Zeno says, I unfortunately have to go to work, but I will say this. I remember my intro to you was when I played Fallout 3, roaming the Capital Wasteland, while listening to your playlist of all the vaults in Fallout. Good times. Awesome. Thank you for reminiscing, and good uh, luck at work today. Adios, Ophios. Adios, Prophetis. Achievement Adios, unlocked, paying Adios. respects. Adios, Ophios. Adios, Ophios. Adios Prophetis. Adios Athanatos. Eliason Imas. Right, I'm, <clears throat> I'm thinking the only way is to use the uh, rock wall or something because I, I can't seem to get back up there. TJ says, ox pressed F? Yes, to pay respects. That's what I did.
we go. Okay. Have I been here before? I don't think so. Okay, we got some oil. Okay, so a lower path. Then a path over here. Looks familiar though. I think I might have actually explored this cave. Unless there was something in here that I couldn't <clears throat> ex I couldn't access until um now. Yeah, I would have gotten that. So I've already done this cave. Oh my god. Alright, that's done. Out we go. Oh my god, let me jump. Okay, well, we got the document down here. We got that cave. Uh, we've got some challenges. We got to <coughs> uh, get some rabbits and stuff. We still can't... We, oh, that's right. We needed to climb that one area down there. We saw that thing um, at the top of the tower. And it looks like there's a coin cache over there. All right, so let's run around and get these things that we couldn't get before. And there was that challenge tomb. All right, well, now that we've got an uh, upgraded kit, there's a lot that we can do. Let's go here first.
There has to be more shells for the Soviet rifles. Why is there a shortage now? Nearly a dozen of the crates got wet. Balami. Oh, that's right. There was this. Why couldn't I get through there again? I think I needed uh, shotgun ammunition. Even more secrets revealed. Um. Oh, and here's this. A prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. Okay, did the map unlock anything else in this area? Don't think so. Alright, so let's go for this document. Something up there. Remember, we couldn't get up there. But now I think we can. Jacob will want to see the Atlas. Metal barriers, that was a uh, grenade, right? There we go. No, oh, almost. I was out of ammo last time, that's what it was. to the top got some salvage and we can cut this that's gonna cause a relic to drop there was something in that box hanging up there is there anything else on this that I need I can create this zip line now but where does this go Those are too far away. Now where is this supposed to go? was tiny okay let's see the thing that dropped over here oh come on there we go it was just salvage. All that for a piece of salvage. Ugh, that's infuriating. Okay, but we got some lore over here. Wow, it's been sitting here the whole time and I just didn't Hello. see it. 
It has been nearly a decade since Katesh was lost to us. In the first years, I thought we would not survive. We are the remnant of a once great people, but we did survive. The struggle became second nature, and then a way of life. Our numbers no longer dwindle. We may never be great again, but we will live, this winter and the next. I know this in my heart, for God has given us a sign. Last night, a wild man wandered into our camp, emaciated and raving with fever. We gave him food, cut his tangled beard, and cleaned his wounds. The others do not recognize him yet. It has been too long. But I know him. The Prophet. The Prophet has returned to us. But I thought the Prophet was finally killed. Or was that later in this timeline? That's the problem with picking up these letters in any random order. You never know which order they're supposed to be in. <clears throat> Chris says, I'm replaying Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Highly recommend it. Yeah, I've heard the same thing. I'll probably play Shadow of the Tomb Raider after this one. Okay, let's get the coin cash. Tricky. There it is. Okay. Now, <clears throat> there's still this challenge tomb, which I can't find the entrance to. It's infuriating. Um, I want to try. I think this is the one I keep getting a message about every time I walk over that area. I think this is why I couldn't get it. to see what the Atlas can do. She's going to keep saying that until I can uh, keep going forward with the primary plot, won't she? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't get past that. Here we go.
Got a skill point. Traps on corpses. Uh, rapid crafting. Napalm arrows. Death cloud arrows. Cluster bomb arrows. Man-made crafting resources. Uh, fully charged bow aiming remains steady for longer. Fire up three arrows at separate locked targets while zoomed in. I still haven't mastered that. Uh, let's do take significantly less damage from explosions and fire. I need leather. I need scrap. Secrets revealed. I found another cache. Coin cache down there, but that was already there. All right, so that's new. It's right behind me. So that's how I'll get back. <clears throat> hey, I got a pristine leather out of that. Cool. Well, down looks like death. I guess that was scripted. <laughs> well, that's how we'll get uh, the pit of judgment. The pits of despair. Whoa. Got a zombie. Dude was just chilling here when he died. Interesting. Okay, can I?
Right, well, let's give this a push. Is that gold? Did something. <sighs> Yay? Okay. Not subtle, but effective. Oh, Laura, what is subtle with you? I mean, she just blows up everything she comes across. An old ring tied to a leather thong to create a loop. They had no need of jewelry. I knew the risks. It was only a matter of time before the city guard caught me. By day, I must pull gold and other ore from the rock until my fingers bleed, all to increase the wealth of Katesh. By night, we do penance, ask forgiveness from God and the Prophet. They hope to save our souls, to rehabilitate us. I bow when they expect me to, put on a mask of regret when they remind me of my sins. But when they let me free of this place, I will take my pleasures where I can. The Pit of Judgment, so the people of Katesh, um... What, they banned hedonistic people to this place or something? more secrets revealed. Let's see if it records anything that I've missed. Okay, so inside the tomb, there's a lot. But outside the tomb, I think I've gotten most of it. So these were people who did not worship the prophet. Yikes. puzzle. A pair of gambling dice. Common thing for soldiers, but these are a little more opulent than most. Are those bullet casings? <laughs> Hold on. This one has six on most of the faces. Cheater! It's ore that I'm finding is uh, really what's rare. Now, there is something up there, but. Hmm. I think I need to lower something on top of that. I just dug a hole in some wood. 
<laughs> Achievement unlocked. Keen eye. Alright, so that lowers it. nothing over there to push onto it. Oh. Oh, do I gotta bring it up? Yeah, I gotta bring it up. Okay. Does it change it every time we go up and down? <coughs> I mean, what do we gain by clearing that? Okay, so it turns right once, which means if we want it to be the right way, now that it's on the platform... We do that. So we've got another document. Let's see. That's in there. We've got another survival cache. That's down there. It worked. Glad it's still standing. Knowledge of mining and metalwork. Geologist! 
Geological knowledge allows successful mining of chromite ore. Press E to mine when near an underground ore vein. All right, I mean, did I not know how to do that before? I guess not. The wealth of this valley continues to reveal itself like a flower in bloom. Every year, new buildings rise from the wilderness. We have produced a generation of artisans, astronomers, and philosophers that rival anything back west. But with any great city comes crime and rot. Many thought we should have put these sinners to death, but the prophet would not hear of it. He believes all men can be healed, and so we keep them alive, teach them through hardship and scripture. I do not share the prophet's faith that they can be redeemed but at least they will serve the city and those they wronged. Wow, forced labor from the prophet. Jerry King with a donation of stars on Facebook. Thank you, Jerry. Guess that's it. I was really hoping that this underground area would allow me to loot this survival cache, which we couldn't get to over there. And then I was just too lazy to come back for that one. I mean, I could fast travel, I suppose. You know what? I need to go to the shop. I haven't been to the shop in a while. Oh, I've got a coin cache right there. I should probably get that first before I go to the shop. All right, well, that's this one done. get over there? Probably not. Do I want to risk it? I really don't want to have to clamber up that again, so we'll leave that alone. There was a survival cache over here. Let's fast travel. Mm -hmm. 
Chicken Biscuit says, uh, sure is good to be back on a Friday stream. I've missed these lately, Ox. It's good to have you back, Chicken Biscuit. Pristine freaking leather. Oh, why? All right. Um, while I'm here. I can try to get that one again. I, I don't know if I'll get it. I'll try. of ammo down here. Identify yourself. Hostile! I'm under fire! I cleared this area already. Well, that should allow me to make more of these. Need more shotgun shells. side of this wood. Ooh, that's right where the massacre happened. Hey, I can get it. Yay! Pumpkin toss? Done already? Oh, that's right. 
Where am I supposed to put the pumpkins? Pumpkin toss. All right, where am I supposed to put them? Is there like a um, bucket nearby? That should be an easy challenge to complete since I found the uh, pumpkin patch. Barrel Zox. Barrels? I put the pumpkins in the barrels. Okay. Pumpkin barrel, where are you? So I got pumpkins, but I don't see barrels. There was a barrel near the pumpkin patch. Oh, was there? Oh, but it's closed. So there's the pumpkins. There's the cache. That barrel? This barrel? Right, I don't think I care enough about this to do it. Lots of pumpkins, but no barrels. <laughs> Behind the rocks? This to chat. Look up, a barrel up. annoying oh my god how many do I have to do yay tossing gores five
Oh, come on. I hate this. I hate it! Whoa! Red! No! I'm done! I don't care about the freaking barrels! I'm not gonna do the pumpkins! Get your own damn pumpkins. Getting out of here. Is that a document? How do I get over there? Do I gotta go through this? Chad is saying that I can't use the same barrel. Okay, <clears throat> so I got the caches over here. This is all clear. Yay, finally. I got the tomb over there. I got the tombs over there. This is all clear. I need to go spend some of my coin. And that's way over here, right? I need to go to the Soviet installation. Oh, wait, there was one coin that I needed to get. Um, down here. All right, let's go get that real quick, and then we'll go spend it. Well, I gotta track down five different pumpkin barrels. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, that one. Coin cash. Let's go get it and then we'll spend our coins. Oh. Way down there. Was it, did I get everything up there? I think I got everything up there. Yeah. Uh. Right, um... Jump! Over there. <coughs> By the hogs.
There we go. Oh, now what's the easiest way to get back over there? It's no longer giving me that message saying that there's a tomb nearby, so I must have somehow found it. Interesting that it gave me that message here. Must have been the one over there. If Trinity finds a way to block our access to them, we're gonna have a problem. That Cullen guy says, hey, Ox, excited that you're finally playing Halo. Thank you, that Cullen guy. There's the shop. I'm enjoying Halo Reach so far. I'm looking forward to the lore and the story of the Halo universe expanding as we continue to play the other Halo games. So far there hasn't been a lot of world building in Halo Reach, but I'm confident that'll increase over time. All right, Byzantine coins. I've got 420. I could get refinement tool, upgrade tool that unlocks an additional tier of all weapon upgrades. I could get a commando outfit a rifle laser sight, a rope ascender, and a pistol suppressor. Ooh, cool. Tactical shotgun, and a military rifle. Let's do the upgrade tool. Refinement tool, all right. Upgrade tool that unlocks an additional tier. Let's get the rope ascender. Allows rapid uh, traversal up ropes. Hold E to activate when on rope lines. Now, um, I've already got a tactical shotgun that I really like. Do I want to spend all this money? A special forces high rate of fire military grade tactical rifle. I mean, I like the rifle I've got. I'm not going to spend the money. Let's work on suppressors. A rifle laser sight or a suppressor. I think I'll go suppressor. Okay, commando outfit. What does the commando outfit do? A black tank top, camo pants, and tactical gear outfit. But does it do anything? Like, does it have any stats, or is it just cosmetic? Uh, Riot Police Large Capacity Shotgun. Geared towards taking out large groups. Hmm. Special Forces High Rate of Fire Military Rifle. I can only get one of them right now. Let's try the shotgun. I was going to take that one myself, but you're the one with the gold. And now I can't afford that. And I can't afford that. All right.
So the tactical shotgun does more damage than my harbinger and has much greater recoil stability, but my reload speed is less. Though that won't be such such a problem since it's got a drum magazine. My ammo capacity is less? How is ammo capacity better on the Harbinger? Because it's a full auto shotgun. Narrows shot spread to mimic a shotgun slug. That's That's got the choke on it. I could do some upgrades, but this is going to take all my metal. Let's work on my rifle first. But I can't afford that because I need more leather, of course. Um, all right. Well, shotgun it is. Rapid fire modification. Modified ejector. For faster reloading. Faster firing. Unwanted rising of the barrel. This is just going to clean me out. Increased ammo capacity. This improves the rate of fire even more. I'll do this. And then quick release magazine. Reload speed. All right. Leather. Scrap. Scrap and leather. You demand, says Gambit M. Thank you, Gambit. Then I got a new commando outfit. Uh, let's see. Huntress. Sparrowhawk, Apex, Nightshade, Immortal Guardian, Infiltrator, Siberian Ranger. This is the one that I've got right now. Increases carrying capacity of special ammunition. Pope's Bastion, Leather Jacket, Expedition, Whiteout, Gray Henley, Blue Henley, Valiant, Pioneer, Spirit, Battle Worn, Remnant, Wraith Skin. Reimagined Antarc. Where's the commando outfit? that I just bought. I don't see it. I'm not gonna worry about it. We've cleared everything we need to clear. Let's move forward. Oh, right, right. Chat is saying I didn't buy it. Of course. Right. Yeah, I ran out of money. Thank you, chat. I got confused for a minute there. Okay, so I need about 200 more gold coins to completely wipe out the merchant. Jonah! <laughs> You look terrible. Terrible, but happy. I was right, Jonah. Dad was right. The divine source is real. I wish he was here to see this. He'd be proud of you. Sophia told me what you've done for her people. Lara, it's good to see you, Sophia. Jacob is waiting for you in the observatory. So do they bring Jonah all the way back just so that he can die for the plot? I'm guessing. Hmm. 
You actually found it. The founders of Katesh were skilled craftsmen. They use this place to you the Atlas. All right, so we're gonna do like an Indiana Jones sort of <sighs> transference of light thing. Sun laser, go! Jonah, try those chains. Got it. Cool. Well, what happens on a cloudy day? Incredible. They must have used this to plan the construction of the city. Like ancient blueprints. Exactly. Everything radiates out from this point. That puts the center of the city under the lake. But, hmm, something's not right. The cathedral, where the Atlas was, it's on the wrong side of the map. Keep rotating it. Stop! That's it. Katesh isn't under the lake. It's under the glacier. The divine source must be there. How the hell are we gonna get through all that ice? Wait, this path here leads into the city. The cathedral is there, and the tower on the other side. That means the entrance to Katesh must be... here. The entrance to Katesh is here. You knew. Says the day. No, don't die, Jonah. Don't come after me, Jonah. Run! No, not Jonah. We just got him, only to lose him. Who could have guessed? Oh no. We don't have much time. It won't be long before Trinity discovers the location of the swords. But I have to go after Jonah. Even if it means giving up the truth you came here to find. He risked his life to come here with me. I almost lost him once. Not again. Then go. Do what you must. Pyro says, oh no. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen Jonah the entire game. He appears at the very beginning during some sort of ice climbing montage, disappears, then comes back here just to be snatched away for some emotional heartstrings moment. But we haven't really established a huge connection with him as a player. Clearly, Lara and Jonah have history, right? But. I mean, we established history with Jonah in the first game, but if in the Jonah second game... If Jonah is alive, they must be holding him in the old Soviet gulag. I never wanted to go back to that terrible place, but I can't leave him in Trinity's hands now. What? We're gonna revisit a place we already cleared? Oh, come on. No. Take me someplace new. I don't want to go back to the same place. Jonah, hold on. Sophia, are you there? Lara, are you all right? 
I'm up by the old copper mill overlooking the gulag. I'm about to go in after Jonah. I know the spot. We hit a stash of weapons near where we first attacked Trinity. You might find them useful. Thank you, Sophia. I'll see you when I get out. Find Sophia's strong box of gear. Well, I mean, at least we can now get that survival cash. There's one positive. Broadhead Climbing Arrows. Shoot climbable arrows into soft wood surfaces to reach new locations. Hold the left mouse until fully charged before firing. Okay. Can only do one at a time. More propaganda. So I can only have one climbable arrow in a wall at a time. When I shoot one, the other disappears. Right. Ah, come. <laughs> Okay, anything else over here before we go down? Yes, a note! Oh, I was about to leave all this lore behind. Laura! 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 Answer me! Last time I saw you, you were... Damn it, Laura! You better not be dead. After the avalanche, I... I got one little blip, one brief echo, but I'll be damned if it wasn't your voice. I know I heard it. I know you survived, at least the avalanche. I haven't heard a peep since, but I'll keep trying. I know you told me to leave, to get somewhere safe, but did you really expect me to leave you here? Come on. You should know me better than that. Oh, Jonah. You're such a good friend. Thought I saw something over here, too. Yeah. All right, map updated. A new documents and mural locations. Looks like everything up here, but... No, I was really good and thorough when I explored this last time because I'm coming back. Oh, there's one that I missed up here. I mean, can't I just fast travel here? Or am I am I going? All right. Current objective. Come on! Come on. That's not even fair! Just dump me off right on the edge.
All right, well, I'm down here now. But wait, if I can only do one at a time. Oh, oh. Storm's coming in. They have to be far enough away. Green dot, green dot. Oh, come on. I see it. It makes that one disappear. Right. JTS says, lol, no breezy comments in this zipline mission. No, not at all. Am I really going all the way back to the camp that I just fast traveled to? Well, then, if that's so, why couldn't I just fast travel to the camp? I am. I translated this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's the camp. I was just here. Why couldn't I fast travel here? Okay, so I need to go up there, which I couldn't get to before, and that's where the lore is. Okay. Red, green, green. Okay. I don't know if you're reading me, Lara, but I'm going to keep trying. Something's out here. I climbed a tree to get a better view of the valley below. I can see old buildings and some activity. Looks like they got choppers, and they're bringing in all kinds of equipment. It's got to be Trinity. It's the only explanation. <sighs> Looks like they beat us at the bunch after all, huh? <sighs> I've been watching for the past few hours, taking notes of their patrols. I think I can slip by them, if I time it right. You are always better than me at this. If you're out there, and you can hear me, please, be careful. Shotgun unlocked. Return to base camp to equip. I mean, I've got a shotgun, right? Where does this go to? There. <laughs> right. Sparkly. One scrap. Map updated with secrets. I could go up there. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm... Oh. Oh, I gotta go back for freaking survival caches. Oh, Oh, it's up there. Ugh. There's one over here. Let me get the one that's over there first.
Oh. I'm gonna hide it way over here. Hey, three leather though. I'll take the three leather. Leather, yeah, all right. Okay, so back here. Looks like we've got a path up there or not. Not. I wonder what those are on totems or something Got to find shelter guess I'll trudge towards this cave conveniently located nearby I should never have doubted you, Dad. I wasn't there when you needed me most. I'm sorry. I'll make them see that you were right all along. That you sought the truth, not fairy tales. I'll make it right, Dad. I promise. Lara, it's time. John is waiting. No time for hypothermia. We gotta rescue Jonah. I'm I'm right here. But, I think I can probably jump over. Hmm. Am I missing anything by going up here? No, I'm just missing more rocks I would have had to climb. Follow Sophia's path to the Trinity base. Ooh. 
Jonah must be up there somewhere. Extraordinary. The Divine Source. It's in the center of the old city, buried beneath the ice. Then it's time to move. I will notify the dig teams and prepare the transports. Our men encountered the Deathless Ones in the Archive. This will not be easy, brother. Are they really brother and sister? The holy path is not meant to be easy. Are the men aware of what they will face? No. But they are prepared to fight and to die for the cause. That's all we need from them. Constantine, now that we're so close to the end... We've only just begun. I'm afraid Trinity is just using us. What if they don't intend to let you keep the source? We should prepare No! We must have faith. I wasn't chosen by Trinity. Listen to your sister, she might have Once wisdom. the source is mine, it won't matter what they want. I will lead God's immortal army. And you... You shall live. All right, time for another ad. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to get another drink. Be right back. Two minutes, two minutes, time me. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, right? Two minutes, what'd I say?
tracks. Tracking down Trinity, follow the vehicle tracks up the mountain. How did a vehicle get through here? I guess the tree fell after? Oh. Damn, they're everywhere. Hold your fire. Just a deer. Itchy trigger finger, sorry. If you saw movement and reacted, I would have done the same. As we follow the flare. If Noah dies after all this, I'm going to be pissed off. What happened? The truck was too heavy, and the bridge collapsed. Everything's falling apart in this place. Should we call it in? Don't bother. Everyone's packing up and getting ready to move out. Good. We finally get what we came for. Hard to say. Constantine just gave a general order to prepare. What was that? the way we go. Let's see if there's anything around here first. This is your first field op for Trinity? No. I was sent to help clean up the island after Croft escaped. Tough job. I heard you had to kill natives there, too. Yeah, some kind of sun cult. Crazy bastards. Deacon! Amazed the Croft survived that hell. Well, she did. And now she's our problem. Broadhead climbing arrows for there. All right. back here <clears throat> yes map updated okay
What happened back there? Bridge collapsed. Looks like we're gonna have to fly out the rest of the cargo. So, success? Yeah, we got the Atlas. They took it up to the weather station. Why there? Not sure. I heard some chatter over the comp about Anna wanting access to the dome. Maybe they have a lead on how to translate it? I don't know. But they gave the order to pull up stakes. So we'll probably be moving soon. Awesome. <laughs> I got it. Didn't see him around that corner. All right, well, let's try that again. It was a pretty good on a stealth run there. What happened back there? Bridge collapsed. Looks like we're gonna have to fly out the rest of the cargo. I hope they found something up there. I'm sick of this place. So, the attack on the observatory was a success? Yeah, we got the app. They took it up to the weather station. Why there? Not sure. I heard some chatter over the comms about Anna wanting access to the dome. Maybe they have a lead on how to translate it? I don't know. Uh, contact! God! They're all over! What happened back there? Bridge collapsed. Looks like we're gonna have to fly up. <laughs> so, the uh, only uh, success? Yeah, we got the Atlas. They took it up to the weather station. Why there? Not sure. I heard some chatter over the comms about Anna wanting access to the dome. Maybe they have a lead on how to translate it? I don't know. But they gave the order to pull up stakes, so we'll probably be moving. Hold up! Movement! Hop down! <laughs> Okay, this isn't working very well. What happened back there? Bridge collapsed. We got incoming! Alright, we found a little crack. But let's loot up. 
Hmm, an old Soviet plaque. And that's the way I came from. What's down here? Does this just come back the way I came? This leads to the other side of the gate. Come on, there's gotta be something down here. Guess not. Anna must be close. It's a stamp to seal official Trinity letters. Not many people still use these. Two skill points. I could finish this off. Efficient killer. Sure. Achievement unlocked. Self-improvement junkie. Let's try survivor. Crafted items. Traps on corpses. Handheld experience. Crafting. Press F mid-jump to jam climbable air broadhead arrows into soft wood surfaces. All right, let's try that. Now, do I have the leather necessary to do any of these upgrades? Yeah. Uh, recoil stability, rate of fire, recoil stability. Uh, what does this do? Instant prying of doors and strong boxes. Yeah. Achievement unlocked weaponsmith.
the choppers. Never <laughs> Surprised he wasn't like, wasn't I just having a conversation with you? Why did you stop talking? All right, this looks like a survey crew of some sort. Pistol unlocked. Shotgun piece. Speaking of Croft, she's still out there. They still want her alive. Not anymore. She's too much trouble. I should have killed her when they had a chance. She was useful for a time. Let us hear, right? Think Trinity. We're under attack! <laughs> what? Uh, somebody's fucking with us. What was that? We got incoming! <laughs> Those gas poison arrows are really cool. Took out an entire group of guys. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Thank you. Map on the ground, but we can't go that way. Or we can't loot it. <clears throat> Am I leaving anything behind? I don't think so. I got three coins out of that stash. Cool. Right. Enter the weather station. Switch to the shotgun for close quarters combat. Or maybe a bit premature there. Hey. A pendant. No, a modern reliquary. There's a small human bone inside. Saint Peregrine, patron of the terminally ill.
Ja. No. <lacht> Fein. I don't think there was anything this way anyway. Nope. A rifle shell. But there's something unusual about this one. And the unusual thing is... Latin engraving on the end. Kill them all. God will know his own. Talk about a death cult. All right. Shotgun ready. I won't die in this godforsaken valley. My faith is strong. My will is strong. Even if my mind keeps wandering away. In our youth, Constantine and I in our youth, he, he was a difficult child. Always wondering, always questioning, afraid of what the future might hold. Afraid that he might never find his purpose. The night I cut those marks into his hands. The night I whispered into his ear. I made him. I saved him. He believed it to be the work of God. Just as I'd hoped. Now I need him to save me. And if in the end he can't, then I'll save myself. So they are brother and sister. They were children together. She gave him the stigmata? He said he woke up with the stigmata on his hands. Did she cut them into his hands while he was sleeping? How did he not wake up? Well, he got his purpose. Got up close this time. Figured when I find you, maybe I'll have learned something that'll help. Here's what I know. There's an operation here. Something big. Hundreds of nasty-looking soldiers. No insignia, no nothing. All holed up in this old Russian facility. Looks like it was once one of those awful gulag prisons. I came down here thinking you needed me, Lara, but... Christ, how backwards is that? Before too long, I might be the one who needs rescuing. I hope the guides are still alive and can hear this. I'll stay out of sight as long as I can, but it's getting pretty damn cold out here. I'm gonna have to find some kind of shelter soon. Who would have guessed? Noah gets himself into trouble, and Laura's gotta save him, of course. Yeah, I'm sure nobody's guarding this. This is becoming tiresome. Just give in to God's will. If you're gonna start preaching, it's you. Jonah. Save Jonah into the prison block. Okay. From the music I gather, there will be lots of enemies. No loot around here. 
Just double checking. Ooh, and I left something behind. Yes, I did. Back we go. Oh, and it's way down there. How did I do that? Can I go back? Bull crap! All right, time for another rat. Well, bummer. Nope, even when I get that synced, I can't go back. Looks like I'll have to fast travel to get that. And we're back here. Find Jonah in the prison block. Laura, thank God. I think I found your tracks. I knew you were alive. It would take more than a thousand tons of ice and snow to take out my little bird. There's something strange going on in the woods, and it's not Trinity. There's someone else watching me, from the trees. I had some food in my pack, old energy bars mostly, but I'm running low. I slept inside a dead log last night, and when I woke up this morning, there was a present waiting for me. Dried meat, some berries, all wrapped up in deer skin. I thought I was dreaming at first, but... There's someone looking out for me here. Hope they're looking out for you too. has limits. Tell me what you know. Now! <laughs> Do it! Please, 
please, no. Don't listen to him! I was only doing what I believed was right. Oh, Jonah, come on now. Oh, Jonah! Yeah. What did I say? What did I say? Sweep the cell blocks. Kill everyone. Of course they're gonna kill him off. His sole existence is just to give her angst and anxiety. I'm sorry. I should have killed him. Well, yeah. But he was unarmed. I just couldn't. He had a knife. Shh. You shouldn't have to. I am so sorry for getting you into this mess. <coughs> I thought I could keep up. Her situational awareness. They're coming. We're surrounded. This time I've got your back. He's dying. We don't have much time. Bar the door. Time to murderize. Achievement unlocked, whatever it takes. All units respond. We've got to deal with her. We're almost in position. Not seeing the target yet. Waiting for orders. Stay in position. No skill points. Let's see if we can upgrade any of our weapons. I know that you like to read the archaeological journals now, but I urge you that if you see anything written which is less than pleasant about me, to ignore it. There are those who simply do not understand the work I'm doing here. Perhaps they're even frightened by it, but their fear and stupidity is not my concern, and neither should it be yours. I will explain everything in good time, my darling girl. The people that were frightened, were they Trinity? You never told me. I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. They found their way to me. Now I'm going to have to deal with them. Ooh, a bunch of crafting materials there. Yes, come through the door one by one, please. Right, red barrel. We have visual on the target. I repeat, we have visual on the target. T4, join with leader. We'll take care of <sighs> Yes, stand there in the gas. Confirm heat sink. Ready to engage. Roger. Following through. <laughs> Oh, 
okay, I survived. I am alive. Yay! Jonah's dead. No, Jonah! Oh god, no. Oh, it's still moving! Jonah. Laura. I'm here. Laura. Listen to me. Try not to move. If, if I don't make it out of here. Don't talk like that. No, just listen. Little bird. You can't blame yourself anymore. We all make our own choices. His end is near. He's not dead yet. No, he can't die. <laughs> we can help him. <laughs> oh. oh. We must get him to the observatory to Jacob. Singeferno says, what stealth? Yeah, that's my motto. What stealth? Who needs it? When I've got a grenade launcher on a assault rifle and a shotgun with a choke. Who needs stealth, right? Yeah. Only Jacob can save Jonah now. We have to get him back to the observatory. We still saving Jonah? Man. This guy came to cause us a lot of trouble. Jacob, he's dying. Let me attend to him. This is called magic salt. Here we go. Magic salt. The Lord is your guardian, your protective shade at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor moon by night. The Lord guard your soul from all evil. The Lord God, you're going and coming from now to all time. But that was the last dose. Keep pressure on the wound. Prepare him. Jacob, you were shot. You are him, aren't you? What, the prophet? The deathless prophet. I can feel pain. I can be hurt. I am human. Save for a human ending. And the divine source? Something I found long ago. It is real and deeply powerful. But it is not divine. So you've lied to them for generations. I'm not proud of it. But I did it to protect them. I once used the source to grant my armies their long lives. But it was a terrible mistake. The ones I saw in the archive. When enemies attacked Katesh, the Deathless Ones brought the ice from the mountain down upon the city. Thousands were killed, but they committed an atrocity to keep the power. And so will Trinity, but on a much larger scale. That's not you. The man I've come to know would never harm his people. Don't you see? All of this is my doing, and it must finally come to an end. Father, they're on the move. They're going to brute force their way into the ice. And we've already lost. No, there has to be a way to stop them. Jacob, the map showed a secret entrance into the city. Path of the Deathless. But it's too dangerous. Not for a crop. They're running out of time. You know I can't give up now. If we can delay Trinity, that might just give us a chance. I will take our forces and attack them on the ice. Then it's time. Open the path. Hey. 
when you're ready. The entrance lies beneath the observatory. I will do what I can for your friend. Achievement unlocked, the road less traveled. <clears throat> Plans run a foul pack. Um, all right. So, going over what we just learned, if the divine source is not divine, what is it? It can't be a modern technology because it was used thousands of years ago by the prophet and his followers. So, is it some sort of new alchemy? All right. Well, I missed something way over here. That. Can I get to it from here? I'll do it later. I don't want to do it now. I got a skill point. Shotgun expert, rifle expert. Well, this is just a finishing move. It's just close range finishers. I like that. Scrap my eternal enemy. I could upgrade the shotgun. That's it. I'm completely out of scrap, and I need springs, and I need leather. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. That was great. Uh, I'm turning it. One, two, three, two, three. Oh, they got it. It worked. Should have just slept to the little white marks on the wall. Ah. But then what's that? Hmm. 
I don't see anything up there. Oh, there's a platform. Almost had it. Right. Oh yeah. Ha ha. Secrets revealed. All right, I didn't miss any. We got a survival cache. That's just one for one survival freaking cache. Solemn crevasse. I just have to catch my breath for a moment. This place, Katesh, Jacob, the deathless ones. I've been running so fast for so long, I haven't stopped to acknowledge the simple fact that all of this is real. A part of me can't believe it. But I know Jacob was telling the truth. Whatever made him is here, and I'm going to find it before Trinity. I only wish Dad was alive to share in this discovery. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off, centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers, before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. Down, up. Down. So you do pronounce it orrery. Orrery. Right. Well, we've got a little hole over here. Doesn't look like we've missed anything so far. We'll go ahead and mark that survival cache. Hello. Hmm. That's the way back.
Use the orrery. This is extraordinary. To open the entrance to Katesh. Let's see how this thing works. Right. Okay. Uh, guess I'm gonna jump. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. No more blind faith, right? Looks like I can pull that into place. Okay. Did I not let it move all the way first? <sighs> okay, any time now. Can't use my bow. Okay, so I need to go up there. Can that not swing around anymore? Okay, so from there to there, to there, to there. <coughs> oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> Come on! Do I got to do it again? No, I don't. There we go. Yes. Ugh. Okay. Go. Got the bullion. Really, I gotta approach it just the right way. Alright, try another ad.
Okay, it was extended, but then I stood on it and it retracted. As it'll go. What? Okay, so we made it to the other side, and it's essentially the same. There's a path over here. The Mongols destroyed everything, and the city sank beneath the ice. Is, do you see another thing I can pull with my rope? I mean, I need to get up there, it looks like. Um, I guess retract this. Jacob's people were ahead of their time. Your step flower. This is gonna piss me off, isn't it? <laughs> pissed off! I am officially pissed off! Oh, this entire thing is just gonna. So I guess I gotta wait for this to line up with something. And then it's gonna be this. Yep. Patience, Lara. Do I fall on that? Now. Yeah. Can I do that? Jump on that. Yeah. There we go. And then this one goes to what? That or that? No! Oh! What? Did I get knocked off? Oh, come on. Worst thing in the world! I hate it! Lara. Now! 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 
Now! Now she says! Still trying to figure out what knocked me off that that first time. Patience, Lara. Presuming that, and then I don't get knocked off. Oh, I see what knocked me off last time. It was one of those balls. See if there's anything over there. Just got to make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. No, nope, I'm not even gonna. I'll wait for the handrails. Thank you. Okay, and we spin around. advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. New skill mastered, classically trained. Increase the number of arrows that can be rapidly shot without redrawing from the quiver to three. Cool. Mm. 
I got coins. Right. so bad. Oh, there's something glinting down there. <laughs> uh, got it. At least I don't have to draw them again. Can you see Trinity? Yes. They're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. I missed one. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. That's on the way. Did I miss any here? No. Good. Okay. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley one foot after the other sword in hand i trudged on i meant to charge battle cry on my chapped lips when consciousness fled and i collapsed into the arms of heretics they know who i am they have been expecting trinity they do not have much but they fed me kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. Even armed, I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself, but I live. Killed by kindness. Well, not killed, but maybe his soul was killed. Okay, well, that last obstacle was a misery. Anything sparkling down there before I jump? Oh, 
How come when she m misses a jump, she lives somehow, but when I miss a jump, she dies? Doesn't seem right. Am I really full? There we go. Uncle Matt just donated 10 memberships to the Oxhorn community. Congratulations to Gary Lalonde, Carter, J. Maud, PJ Parker, Paul Dudley, Justin, Radcon, Holly, Remy, and Robin. Thank you very much, Uncle Matt, and congratulations to everybody. I doubt I have enough materials to upgrade anything. I keep checking with hope, but no. That's a ballista. Can I take down a helicopter with a ballista? In a siege tower? I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. The divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. Hmm. With the source at his disposal, the Prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable. An army of wraiths and devils that can never die. A mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves. I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. 
<clears throat> and is that how this game ends? We find it only to lose it and it falls into a crack like an Indiana Jones? Into the hidden city. Oh, they're really throwing campfires at me. Talk about a close call. whole point they don't die What is that? I wonder. Getting from the loot. Arrows? I guess.
They drop smoldering little piles of what's it? Oh no. Great, here we go. Right, fire hot. Okay. I still somehow have to get over there, but I'm right back where I was. Oh, I see. Blue fire. Right. Up or down? Up. Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the prophet's path, and twice before they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the empire but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place, to retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. The greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. This is... hmm, particularly odd. Has elements of Scythian design, but... It looks like a... no, n not possible. What's she thinking? Alien, maybe? <laughs> General. General, we observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Gatesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high.
They will not expect your charge from the paths on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. And time for the final ad. Okay. Received life and death pack. Go to the marketplace to redeem. Lara! They're going to break through the ice any minute. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. Get through the first gate. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the Prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the Prophet's people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet. Their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. I really want to know exactly what this divine source substance is that can give people immortality or turn them into zombies. I don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like, but Jacob seems so human. The things he must have seen over the years all that experience and knowledge, it's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. <clears throat> right. Making sure I'm not missing anything. 
where I came from. I don't think I left anything behind. Now we got a big city to explore, which includes a cave and probably, yep, a crypt entrance. There's a boar hunting ground here? Okay. Why does this feel like the villa outside the Sierra Madre? The deathless are patrolling the streets. Got to stay out of sight. For whom the bell tolls? Cut down all the bells of Katesh. 105. So what do I anchor this to? Go a map. Great. There's something behind that barrier. Way out. Okay, so that marks everything. Challenge, tomb, relics. What a cool place to explore. Survivors must have suffered. A 
woman's necklace made of Baltic amber. <sighs> Incredible craftsmanship. It must have belonged to a noblewoman. One down. Document. It's on a ground floor, good. I wonder. Nope. Achievement unlocked Blade of Justice. It's not here, it's somewhere over there. Oh. Right. I'm okay. I have made myself a refuge in this frozen hell, in the base of a crumbling tower. I have laid away food and weapons enough to defend myself, but I am the last survivor. By day, I watch the deathless army learn the paths they take. They follow the same patterns, day in and day out, like men trapped in a dream. They are fierce, but they are hollow. Whatever made them men is long gone, replaced instead by a soul of cold iron. I must be careful, but I must know more about them. If this is what the Source can do in the hands of a heretic, Think of what it could do in the hands of the righteous. Well, I don't know if uh, heresy and righteousness is the dividing line between zombie and, uh, you know, a normal person. Okay, uh, let's get the stuff over there and then get that cave. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm guessing that's flammable. No. What's that? Oh, arrows. Arrows? No. No. Another bell. <laughs> I 
And there's the document. I must have fallen asleep. It is hard to tell time beneath the ice. The Deathless Ones had been busy. Where a pile of ashes smoldered the night before, a corpse now lay. Skin as milky white as a dead fish. As I watched, the dead man breathed in death rattle in reverse as he sucked air in for the first time in a day. Then he looked at me, and I recognized him at last. I killed this man once before during the battle, and he has not forgotten. So I killed him again, crushed his new skull before he could stand, but his ashes smolder anew. I will not be here when he awakes. The cold look in his eyes was like a promise. Mm. Like the phoenix, he will rise again and again, each time more determined to end my life. If I stay, sooner or later he will succeed. Okay, then we've got something inside this tower. Down. So, chat is saying that I need Molotovs in order to get in. That leads me to the gate. How do I get those down? What are those for? All right, so Molotovs for the gate. Or this. No. My kingdom for a bottle. Here's one. There we go, that does it. vase made of silver it's seen a lot of use and travel but it has a rough portrait of the prophet they must have begun trading with the outside chat says fire arrows for the boxes Thank you, chat. Fire hot. Okay, uh... Let's go get this cave. It's way over there. Is that going to be a zombie bear?
Alright, let's go find this zombie bear. Zombie bear dead. Anything in here worthwhile? Looks like it's just that wall. Unknown area, optional challenge tomb. Oh, well, we found one. Great. A blue glass vase. Still in excellent condition. Not many of these survived, for obvious reasons. Something sparkling. No, no, it's a drop of water. Oh dear. Well. <laughs> Backpack, yes. Map markers. So, we've got a survival cache here. Way over there. And then something over here. An iron pendant. Soldiers in the Empire would sometimes tie them to their belts. There's the survivor's cache. It's everything so far. Now we die. Ooh, was that a boom? Ruins Space. under the water. A geothermal cavern. Campsite. Any inventory upgrades? Yeah, we can upgrade uh, to the adventurer's quiver. What do we need for this? We need more leather and more leather. Wow, lots of leather. Well, it's all gonna go here. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, now to get more leather. Oh, 
Right. We swim. Ruins under the water, but nothing we can interact with right now. Another survivor cache. And another map? Didn't we just get a map? Or no, we got a backpack. Alright, so we've got some documents up this way. That's where the explosions came from. The geothermal vents. Oh, no. Chamber of Exorcism. No way to open that gate. Must be some way of breaking through. No way to open that gate. Must be some way of breaking through. Yes, thank you, Laura. My mind is clear today. It was not so yesterday, and it will not be again. They say the devil is inside me. They say I am possessed. I have seen the beast in my heart, and it is only me, only my broken mind. But the priests will not listen. I cannot blame them. Some days they appear to me as apparitions of manifest pain and hatred. So clouded are my eyes. I spit and yowl, for I am mad. But I know there is no evil in my heart, only sickness that no man can cure. Okay, so we've got some levers up there. We've got some water down here. And a cage. Right, well, that seems easy enough. I thought I could do it from up here. I guess not. Okay. Don't stand in it, because, yeah, that's death. <laughs> okay. Uh... But then how do I attach that? That's attached to the drain below. Maybe I don't need to attach it to anything. I just need to drain this.
Why wouldn't it catch on fire while I was up here? Hmm. Demonic possession. They were performing exorcisms. Map ox. Oh. Hey! <laughs> right behind me. Deep below the holy ground of our city, we have found the source of the corruption. One of hell's winding tunnels snakes up and vomits forth a miasma of evil. There is no pattern to the demon's depredations, but his mark is plain. Men driven to wicked words and acts, as God's grace is driven from them. We take them here to the mouth of hell itself to drive out the demons. We do not always succeed. Often the poor wretches are too far gone and they die when we drive the beasts out of them. It is heartbreaking to lose good people. But we must stand against the devil in all his forms. Okay, so each of those pulleys opens the water, which brings down the bucket, which releases the explosive gas. When it explodes, it moves that, but not for very long. I've got a rope on there, but I can't attach it to anything. That's attached to... That. Do I need to somehow release this? So it can be brought up? They believe this cavern was a gate to hell. Right, it's chained down there, but I can't dive any lower. I can't dive any lower.
Oh, come on! Right, I didn't do it fast enough. There we go. Patience pays off. For Greek fire. Really? Achievement unlocked Tomb Raider. Come on, Greek fire, really? The flames from fire arrows and Molotov cocktails do more damage and are hot enough to burn through enemy armor. All right. Tomb complete. Okay, I think that's everything in the tomb, but not in the ruined city of Katesh. Much more to do. Freddie Simmons says the idea that an arrow can hold the weight of an adult is pretty silly, but I can appreciate that Laura isn't swinging from them like a trap, uh, trapeze, and I suppose it's the natural progression from using them like grappling hooks. I agree, but I mean, there's a lot about this game where we have to suspend disbelief. Okay. 
with that, ladies and gents, I'm all out of time. Thank you for joining me for uh, my Friday live stream of Rise of the Tomb Raider. And man, we made a lot of story progress today. Having a great time with the game. I hope you are as well. I think uh, I'm enjoying it enough that we'll probably do um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider after this when the time comes. But we've got uh, more Rise of the Tomb Raider to go. I completed my lore video for the weekend. The next part in the full story of Fallout 4, Episode 4. It's going to be a good one. We will advance a lot in the plot, explore a brand new area, and meet dozens of people. Lots of great conversations and hidden dialogue that you might not have noticed in your game. So be sure to check that out tomorrow. It'll go live on uh, YouTube at around 6 a.m. Pacific time, and uh, it'll probably go live on Facebook later next week just because I have some problems uploading to Facebook. Next week, we've got uh, a full week of broadcasts scheduled. We're going to continue with Halo Reach for Monday. Um, we'll be continuing with Mad Max for Wednesday. We'll probably finish off Stray on Thursday, and then we'll be right back here with more Rise of the Tomb Raider come Friday. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye.